Good morning. Good morning, Instagram. Come on in. Welcome to Fight for Your Marriage Friday. I am so excited about the tips that I'm going to share with you today. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Let me know where you're joining from. Put in the comment section where you are joining from. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you all doing? So good to see you all here on this Fight for Your Marriage Friday. I am so ready to dig into today's topic. So I am glad that you all are here. I am Laura Gathers. If for those of you who may not know me, hi. Charlotte, hey Rhea, Charlotte, North Carolina. I am Laura Gathers, the founder of Love Harder Marriage Coaching, where we equip couples with the tools they need so their marriage can succeed. DMV, that's me. I'm here in a DMV as well. Hi, Kim. Hello from Irmo, so Irma? Ir Irmo South Carolina. Hi, Kim from Ashburn, out walking in Ashburn. <laughs> All right, so let's dig right into today's topic, which is how to win an argument. Okay, first and foremost, if you are married, let me know if you've ever had an intense fellowship with your spouse. Let me know if you've ever had an argument with your spouse. Let me know in the comments. Let's just say yes, 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 yes. I feel you. I understand. I've been there. Because a lot of times, you know, People don't really have a, <laughs> absolutely have the right perspective when it comes to marriage. They just think that we do everything perfectly or it's just horrible. And the reality of it is, is it's somewhere in between, right? <laughs> All right. So if you are ready to hop into today's topic, go ahead and put some boxing gloves in the comments. And while you are doing so, let me make a precursor. Today's tips are for those who are mature enough to have healthy conversations. If you are in a verbally or physically abusive relationship, I am first and foremost, I'm praying for you. Second of all, get somewhere safe, okay? Get somewhere safe where you can get the help that you need, all right? And, and then we will move into these tips because a lot of times, information is put out there and we don't have that precursor. Wait a minute. This information is for those who are in healthy relationships where you and your spouse know how to control your emotions. All right. You know how to control your, your hands. All right. Okay. I see some boxing gloves. So that tells me that you all are ready. So let's hop into it. So in order for you, I'm going to share with you three tips. Okay. One, two, three tips to win an argument. And the first tip is this. Approach the conflict or the argument with empathy. Approach it with empathy. If your spouse comes to you and you already know that it's about to make a left turn, I want you to pause, take a deep breath. And approach that conversation with empathy. Ask yourself, what is it that they're trying to share with me? What is it that they want to know? Even if you do not agree with them, do your best to understand their perspective. Why? Why is that important? Because you are going to ask good questions. If you are approaching that conversation with empathy, you're going to want to know what's going on inside of them, right? You're going to want to know what is, what is the situation that you're currently facing. So when you approach it with empathy, you are going to ask good questions and that's going to do two things. It's going to help you one, understand something new about your spouse. And number two, it's going to help you understand the, the rooted issue. A lot of times when we approach things, we pro approach them from the mindset of how we are feeling at that moment. But if you're in a conversation with a person who asks good questions, they're going to get to the root of the issue. So when you approach an argument or a conversation with empathy, you are going to ask good questions that will lead you to deeper understanding about your spouse and about that issue. All right. Everybody got it. Tip number one, approach it with empathy. Okay. All right. Now let's move into tip number two. 
Check your emotions at the door. If your spouse is bringing an issue to you, it's not about you. Well, it could be about you, but (laughs) it's their turn to talk. It's their turn to address whatever it is that is on their heart. So check your emotions at the door. I know a lot of people say, well, I don't like the way he said that to me. Now, your mama, your daddy, your sister, everybody else in your family can approach issues however they want to. They can say whatever they want to to you. But if your spouse talks a little louder than a whisper... If they say, honey, if they talk a little louder than a whisper, then it's an issue. So let's be very clear. Is it that you don't want to hear what they have to say, period, because you know that they are telling the truth? There's something inside of it that's like, uh, maybe that's true. So you're getting offended or is it really their tone of voice? Let's let's be honest about it. Is it their tone of voice or is it just the fact that you don't want to hear what they have to say because you know there's some truth behind it? So you're going to check your emotions at the door. You're not going to get easily offended. You're not going to um, constantly be like, well, you need, to, you need to do X, Y, and Z. Well, what about you? You are going to be in a receiving mode. You are going to want to know, okay, what is it that they really want to fit what is it that they're really feeling at this moment and in order for me to tap into their feelings i'm not going to let my feelings rule me now that's hard let's just be honest because nobody likes anybody talking to them crazy but let's understand too that your spouse may not be intentionally talking to you sideways they could literally just be expressing um, the emotion that they feel they could be passionate about the topic in which they are addressing to you so we're going to check our emotions at the door so that we can fully understand what it is that they are trying to communicate to us and then tip number three this is the third tip quick and easy the third tip is this end the conversation with a solution It's that simple. If you approach that, if you did number one, which was approach it with empathy and you've asked the good questions and you've gotten to the root of the issue or you've learned something new about your spouse, you have not number two, allowed your emotions to control you. Then you will end the conversation with a solution. You will end it with a plan of action, a way for you all to move forward forward. And that is the most valuable thing that you can do. That is how you win in marriage. That is how you win a conversation. That's how you are sure that this situation will not continue to arise in your marriage. When you end a conflict with a solution or you end it with a plan of action on how to move forward, then you have something that you can hold each other accountable to. You have something that's going to be a roadmap that's going to lead you to victory. You have something that you both are in agreement with on how to move forward. And that's how you win an argument. That's how you win a conflict. That's how you win a really hard uh, conversation is that you understand that at the end of it all, we want to have a solution on how to move forward. Because if you do not end that way, what's going to happen? that conversation is going to, or that issue is going to arise again and again and again. If you just leave it hanging and you don't bring forth a solution, then guess what? It's going to arise again. And this time it's going to be even uglier. Why? Because you're going to feel like, hey, we already addressed this before. But because you didn't end with a solution, because you didn't end with a way to resolve that issue, it's only going to come back again. Right? What? That's right. Well, has information for every situation, marriage, friends, business, etc. This is for this is exactly right. It's for every aspect, every relationship that you are in. It's important for you to understand that. So I do have two resources. They're not mine, but they are two resources that I have personally used. And I'm going to share them with you on um, conversations, on, on communication, because we all need tools. And that's what we're here at Love Harder to do, to equip you with the tools you need so that your marriage can succeed. And some of those tools may not be ones that I created, but this one right here, have a conversation. This is by Oliver and Denise Marcel. You can find them on Instagram at Denoli LLC. And they have this 
this resource right here called have a conversation a couple's journal it gives you a lot of prompts it allows you and your spouse to write down your thoughts concerning things so that you can communicate in a nonverbal way but still make sure that you're getting your point across i think that is essential but then you also can come together and use these tools to bring forth some resolution to whatever issues you may be facing in your marriage and then the next one is this the Marriage Success Planner, I really enjoyed this one as well because this is for those who like to meet. So one thing that I didn't talk about was having a meeting time to where you can really bring in those issues and concerns that you have in your marriage. Now, everything isn't going to fit into that particular meeting time. But if you have a time in a place where you know you're going to be able to talk to your spouse or talk to your business partner or talk to whoever you're in relationship with, if you know that, you know what, once a month or once a week, we're going to meet. So that would be the time to approach it and it can wait. Then that is great because during those meeting times, you set boundaries, you set um, rules and, and, and regulations that are going to help navigate you through those hard conversations. Yes, this marriage success planner is by Lakia Brandenburg, also known as the wife coach. So I hopefully someone can put maybe I can put at Denoli in here so that you know where to get those resources um, at Denoli LLC and at the Marriage Success Planner, or you can go to at the Wife Coach here on Instagram. Denoli is D E N O L I L L C, and then the the Wife Coach or the Marriage Success Planner. Do we have any questions? Any questions about those three tips? Number one, approach the situation with empathy. Number two, check your emotions at the door. And number three, end that situation with a solution, with a plan of action to move forward. Once again, if we do not have any questions, I am Laura Gathers of Love Harder Marriage Coaching, and I love all things marriage. It is my goal. It is my honor. It is my pleasure to equip couples with the tools they need so that their marriage can succeed. That's what I want you to do. Get the tools. You might need to use that hammer one way today and another way tomorrow, but understand how to use the tools so that your marriage can thrive and you both can win. Because in marriage, you either win together or lose together. So if you win the conversation, if you win the argument, you both win. But if you don't lead that conversation with a solution, unfortunately, you didn't do anything. So I hope this encourages you to continue to fight for your marriage. You can purchase a copy of my marriage devotional, Your Marriage is Worth Fighting For on my website at lauragathers.com. Until the next Fight for Your Marriage Friday, remember, attack the issues, not each other. Have a blessed day.